one question many of you often ask for the get mentored series is how to find out what you are interested in so let's try to answer this question so i've got a graph here where on the x axis we've got abilities and on the y axis we've got challenges what this means is that let's say we are talking about music or uh, art or uh, sports or studies and for a particular subject uh, your abilities are low or for another subject your abilities could be high and in that same subject you could be given some problem which is very easy to solve and hence the challenge is low or you could be given a problem which is very difficult to solve and hence the challenge is high so with this x and y axis let's say i work in a office and i have no abilities i have very low abilities and all i can do is let's say i can only photocopy so the work i'm given is to constantly do photocopy so all day long in my job in that office i only do photocopy because my abilities are low and the challenge i'm given is low now if i am in such a situation then most likely i will be pretty sad and depressed with my life or it's possible that my abilities are high which means let's say i can do some work on computers and but the job i am given is a very low challenge let's say i can do some things on computers but still they ask me to only do photocopying if my ability is high but the challenge i am given is low then most likely i'll be very bored with my job then you come we come to the third quadrant here what is happening is that your ability is still low but the task you are given is very high so for example let's say i am not very good in maths but the task i'm given is to solve calculus or trigonometry or some more complex thing in this case when my ability is low and the challenge i'm given is high then most likely i will feel very anxious in the work i'm doing the next quadrant is when your ability is also very high and the challenge you're given is also very high so let's say i am very good at making videos and the job i'm given is to create fantastic videos with great special effects so if the abil my ability is also high and the the task i'm given is also challenging then i will be in what is called a state of flow a state of flow is when time seems to stop you may have experienced flow yourself maybe if you enjoy uh sketching and you are sketching and you keep sketching for hours and hours and you don't know where all that time went because time seemed to have stopped for you because you were so engrossed in that activity then we say that you are in a state of flow lots of times musicians artists even sports people they are in what is called in the zone in the zone is same as flow that you are so engrossed in the activity you are doing that time just seems to stop for you when you are in a this kind of a state of flow then you stay very focused you are very interested and because you are interested and focused you can do a lot of hard work and because you can do a lot of hard work your abilities keep going up and hence the challenges that you can undertake also keep going up so ideally in life if you can find areas where you will be in a state of flow those are areas that you will shine in simply because you are so deeply interested in them that you are willing to put in a lot of hard work and hence keep becoming more talented in that work and keep becoming capable of solving higher and higher challenges the problem that happens is that 
you guys are still very young and you have not tried out enough number of things and hence you don't really know what will get you in a state of flow it's possible that you know some of you may be very good in sports or very good in a particular subject or in music or in art or in dance or whatever and you so you know what you are interested in which will keep you in a state of flow there is another challenge of how do you make money in that we will look at that in another video but right now i'm just saying how to find out what are you interested in and i'm saying the uh, parameter here is when you are so engrossed in an activity so interested in doing something that time seems to stop for you that is an area of where, of your interest and the second thing i'm explaining in this video is that because you are still very young you may not know what gets you in this state of flow and that is why it's very important to try out many different things without without uh, without jumping into the conclusion that you like or dislike something i will explain more about this in the next video